So the voice actors, actor for Garrus Vicarian is a standard visit, voice right? in this wasteland, so every time I hear his voice, I'm like, Garrus! Garrus, you're here! <laughs> just like Sammy, too. Wouldn't it be great? Sure as hell didn't act like him. Institute thinks they can replace people with synths in this town? They got another no, thing coming. What am I gonna tell his mother? So the institute got a reason to be bothering me. Really is sending sense to replace people, and nobody understands why. Yeah. Sweet pip boy, sister. You hold on to that. Yeah, we had kind of started talking about that last time. I remember. Yeah, but I didn't really believe it. I thought they were just being racist. Oh. And then I was like, oh, they really are doing that. Never mind. <laughs> You're like, I smell oppression. I smell oppression somewhere. They're still being oppressed, though. I know. The synths are being oppressed. But it's that's just like, that. That's the funny part. What do you know? My fr my friend really was taken over by a sense. I'm like, but not all sense are taking over other people's bodies. No, I know that part, but I'm saying like I was talking about I didn't actually think that you're being synth racist, Stacy. <laughs> hey, there's a monkey. Oh, hold on. This is all uh ghouls though. Oh. <laughs> Ow. They're all about to come over here. Kaboom! Hopefully I have some grenades. Which I do not. Damn it! Dang it! This is gonna take a while, don't worry about it. Thought it was me. Oh, dropping it. Ugh. Okay, that was some bullshit. What a ripoff. Come on, Kate, let's go. Oh, wait, this is a bathroom. Ah! That's a little weird. Okay, she's about to get gross. Hold on. Alright. Whoa, whoa. You hear that? Yeah, get up there, Kate. Yeah, go do it. You got this. Continually, like freaking out. Yeah, and and pausing. 
All right, we're free. We're free to go now. I'm gonna put it on. What? The 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 superhero costume. Oh, do it. Check me out. Check Hell me out. Yeah. Hell yeah. That actually is kind of cool. <laughs> we could also run around in the sequin dress if we wanted to. I feel like at some point we'll have to do it just for fun. Yeah, but then we would die in less than a second. Whatever. <laughs> no, we could just do it when we're walking around talking to people. Oh, yeah, because you get more charisma when you do. Really? Wow. Yeah. This place is a shite hole. And here I thought it couldn't get any worse than the combat zone. Hey. Why you always gotta be like that, Kate? <laughs> I love you, but sometimes. This place is a shite hole. It's like. Mo Monday, Monday is, is, is ladies' night. Wednesday is. Wednesday. Alice Vaudeville Review. Ah. Only got some of the words there, but. We got the gist. You got the idea. Kent. There she is, pretty as the posters. The Silver Shroud costume herself. Together with my gun, everything's all set. Ah, Demand reward. First the reward, then I'll give you the costume. Here. I wasn't gonna Welsh on our deal. After all these years, the Silver Shroud is born again. But there's just one problem. I'm just not Silver Shroud material. I could be Rhett Reinhardt. Or, or his butler, Jarvey Blake. But the Shroud is strong, capable. So what's the plan? What happens to the suit? Oh, I have an idea who should wear it. You up for being a Silver Shroud? You're just like him. Except you probably haven't been in a blimp shot down by mobsters. If I go along with this, I could use a little extra. If it'll get you to help, sure. I... I I may be able to scrounge up a couple of things. Why me? Yeah. Why me? No one else would help me find the costume. Even though it sounds crazy, you kid. Aww. The whole world's fallen. Fallen hard. We gotta fight to make the place better. So you in? Yeah. Definitely. Do you want to be? Do I want to be a superhero? <laughs> yes. I would <laughs> Looks like. Looks like I get to be the shroud. Yay. <laughs> the costume and gun are yours. So you patrol good neighbor's streets, and I'll call in any crimes on my radio station. Hell yeah. We just got it back again. Yay. <laughs> Here's some calling cards, I guess. When you dispatch justice, leave them behind. That way, everyone knows the Silver Shroud has returned. Right? Time to fight crime! You happy? Yes. <laughs> also, I, his accent reminds me a lot of my family's. Well, my name's Kent Quanley. Yeah, but we're in Massachusetts, right? Or yeah. Like, okay. But I'm saying like everybody's gonna sound like your family. I know. Actually, I I've never seen met anybody with as strong as accent as your dad's. <laughs> I've never seen anything like it. I feel like my yeah my uncle and my dad have really strong accents. Wow. Well. That doesn't leave much to the imagination now, does it? Oh, oh, I'm naked. Oh my <laughs> god! <laughs> what? I don't know why you're looking at me like that. <laughs> Kate, whatever are you referring to? Oh. What are we gonna do? Put on the silver shroud armor. Duh. Yeah! Check me out. I'm a superhero. Oh, Woo! yeah! And now, the Silver Shroud. Listen to Silver Shroud Station and Good Neighbors. So we get our missions by listening to the radio. Galaxy News Radio. Calling all Silver Shroud fans. A once in a lifetime announcement. The Silver Shroud returns and he's gonna clean up the streets. Everyone heard how Wayne Delancey 
Holy this. moly! Sell the me a kid shroud over a few lousy caps. Oh no! Death, Death is, is coming, coming for you, Wayne. Let's go get him. Galaxy News Radio. Whoa! What's with the Ribby fancy dogs? Looks Boston. expensive. Looks Might be shadows, I've found a new shielding the innocent, judging the guilty. That Your crimes have gone unpunished for too long. What the hell's wrong with you? <laughs> well, nothing a few bullets won't cure. You mess with me? Yeah, nothing yeah, a few bullets won't cure. Now. I'm the Silver you Shroud, know. bitch. Silver Shroud, motherfucker. I'm the motherfucking Silver Shroud. <laughs> Taking your shit. Leaving you naked in the street. Leaving a calling card on your dick. <laughs> and taking your stuff. Is this thing on? Hello? Hello? What? It's on. We're recording in here. Aw, oh, man. Happy Halloween. You Great. scared yet? Great. <laughs> Silver Shroud's dispatched justice already. Miss Selmy has been avenged. Shit, the Shroud off Wayne? Wait, so this guy's actually for real? Oh, you better believe it. So, Jerry, go on. Tell the listeners about what we're talking about. Right. So, AJ, you know the chem dealer by Bobby's. He's doing good for himself. Says he's got a whole new market. Kids. Even with his garbage chems, he's just raking in the caps. You hear that? Sounds like the Silver Shroud has another bad guy to deal with. Uh, why? This Shroud guy, he's gonna muscle in on the chem trade now? No. He's gonna do something about it. AJ's selling the kids. And his chems have k killed people. And? I don't get it. Hey, you. We can't let you AJ like kill scary kids. stories. Head up to Salem sometime. Whatever. Take the scenic tour. <laughs> Galaxy News Radio. Oops, wrong way. When evil walks the streets of Boston, one man lurks in the shadows, shielding the innocent, judging the guilty. That guardian is the Silver... The Silver Shroud! Who's AJ's this? connected with oh, powerful hey, AJ. friends. Don't be a sap and play nice. Hey, look at the clown. This is my turf, clown. And I don't appreciate what you call them trespasses. Speaker Shroud. Peddling poison to kids, are we? Today you face the Silver Shroud! Uh, <laughs> who you say? <laughs> oh, for Christ's sake. Did Kent put you up to this? He keeps moaning about the poor little kids. What the hell, right? Tell you what. I'll pay you... Let's say 50 caps just to shut up about it. And, uh, maybe get Kent off my back. Alright? I say you can suck it! Threaten as shroud! Stop selling to children, miscreant! Or face my wrath! Seems like you're making a lot of trouble for something that isn't our business. Kate! Screw you! Waste the free. Oh, oh, done. Oh. Oops, I missed. Hold on. Oh, wait, everybody. Wait, I am second. the silver shroud. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> Hold, hold on! I am the Silver Shroud! Wait a second! <laughs> Where's AJ's body? It's so, to the left? It's ah, that guy. Here we go. With the blue. Another dick card. Another life saved. Ha ha! Ha ha! I am the Silver Shroud! This is perfect. Now we get to kind of be an asshole and kill people, but we're also doing it for the good of the people. Yes. The Silver Shroud's bringing justice to good neighbor. You bad guys better look out. And now, a special update. The villainous assassin Kendra was recently spotted at the third rail. 
the same Kendra who bombed little Joe Shack and killed four innocent drifters. If you want to see the Silver Shroud in action, stay near Whitechapel Charlie. The Shroud's sure to interrogate him to find the evildoer's whereabouts. Galaxy News Radio. Are you happy? Perfect. Yeah, this is great. When evil walks the streets of Boston, one man lurks in the shadows. Also, for some Shield. reason, it makes me, like, really happy that he has... Hancock says newcomers are. That he has such, like, a... Welcome. It's just, I don't know. He's just happy. Yeah. Go on in. He's had a hope that he hasn't had in a long time. What? Watch, wait, watch out. Watch this lady. That a silver shroud costume? Hey, uh, no judgments, but ain't that a kid's show? I see you looking round the corner Come on inside And pull up a chair No need to feel like a stranger Cause we're all a little strange in here you got a history that needs erasing Did you come in just for the beer and cigarettes? A broken down dream You're tired of chasing Ooh, I'm just the girl to make you forget But if you're searching for something to bring you comfort, oh well, I'm the one you're looking for. She's like the one nice thing in all of the wasteland. Yeah. Everything else is trash, and you're like, come in here, and she's like, nice. She's like, no, I'm beautiful. <laughs> and I'm, I have a great voice. And I'm in a beautiful red dress. Is your motor running close to empty? Yeah. Or are you running from yourself? From where I'm coming from. You're thirsty for a brand new kind of pleasure. Or are you hungry to be somebody else? So sit down your pretty face You came to the right place Oh, where every night it starts once more I'm telling you, friend Your search is at an end Cause I'm the one you're Let's talk to this. Like one of them wankers from the posters. Uh, for now. What you wearing that for? Oh. Speak your shroud. You look upon the silver shroud. I seek a miscreant named Kendra. A shroud, then? More like a nutter. Kendra is not one to be trifled with. People associated with her have a habit of being found face down in a ditch. If you're set on meeting her, for a fee Wearing it can be arranged. Polar cap. It it looked like he had like that thing off the side of him was like I thought it was a cigar for a second and then I was like no that's ridiculous Stacey it's but a robot. But what if it is? But He's what wearing if it a is? bowler. Yeah, I exactly. Mean, so I was picturing him. Can you spare a few details on her at least? On the house. As murderers go, she's positively prolific. No percentage of saying more. Hmm. Speak a shroud. It is not wise to stand between the silver shroud and righteous justice. <laughs> justice? <laughs> you mean to end her? 
In that case, a flat's just south of Good Neighbor. Water Street Apartments. Look out for the blighter she's got with her. Nasty piece of business, that. Good luck. That's right, Good Neighbor. I'm the so, one you're looking for. If you we'll take a look at... We'll be right back after a short break. Oh. If you look at Kat, Kat, the more she likes you... Kate. Kate, if she looks, if she likes you they a lot, have been crazy she'll smirk at you a little. Like oh. And if she's like Beautiful mad at you, she's kind of frowns at you. Oh, thanks, Charlie. Oh, Can I get some water? Down 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 even gonna I always say, hey, hey, Charlie. You are such Boy, a sweetheart, Charlie. We got beer. I got your back. You ain't no worries. You're my baby, get shit. Hey, this bat needs something. Your thoughts? Been too long since I picked a fight. It's a. What are your thoughts on our relationship? I'm still trying to figure out what you want from me. Maybe one day I'll find out. That means she likes you more. That was all. Fine by me. If she's asking what you want from her, that means that she's starting to like you and she's wondering, like, what? but why? Another Are one you trying to decode for women for me, Marie? I'm not, I'm just saying that, I'm just confirming to you that she is indeed falling for us in our Stacey, mysterious ways. You see, this is, this is what a girl does when she likes you. That's I'm not, not sure what I'm if saying. you know how to tell what that's, that's like. That's not what I'm saying, but she, it's hard. It took me a while because I was like, oh, okay, so she's just really guarded about everything. Because everybody else is like, yeah, what's up? Yeah, I want it. I do agree, though, because I tend to like it when people are, like, super straightforward. Well, so no, sweet. she's straightforward because she's like, here, you I'm going to tell you about my past. Blah, 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 blah. And you're like, oh, my God. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> yeah. And she's like, I think she did I it because really she thought it would make that. push you away. But then you're like, no, nah, it's cool. And she's like, what? No, that's supposed to make you afraid of me. <laughs> <laughs> hey, bro. Hey, what's up? Speak a shroud. But she gets like super guarded with the more she likes you and then you have to be like no I don't expect anything from you and she's like not even to carry your stuff and you're like okay well maybe that <laughs> only if you want <laughs> so I remember seeing pictures of this area from the concept art oh? and yes um hun if you like turn to face this yes? yeah I'm pretty sure it was like around here and you were standing like in the Got the character problem. standing in the middle. Um, like it so? wasn't. It wasn't like from the character's point of view. It oh. was like of the area with the with the character in the middle. Mm -hmm. So I don't know. It gave, but it did give me kind of like a different idea of what the rest of the game was going to be like because I saw that and I was like, oh, that looks kind of different from what I would expect. Like, how's that going to be? How's that going to fit? You know? Nope, no, it's never ending trouble. wasteland, Stacey. A capital T. Well, I just. Never ending. No, I just. I know that, but I thought to myself, like, how are they going to make this, like, little street corner with neon lights fit into it? Oh, yeah. Yeah. There's got to be some stuff. Hey, you. Looking for work? <laughs> uh. Depends. Depends on the work. You'll never find a more fair and honest job if you don't mind a little manual labor and don't ask too many questions. You're in. I'll give you 50 caps to start. Interested? I'm going to need more to go on here. You're just going to have to trust me. You can do better than that. Fine. Take a hundred up front. This is just a bad deal. Trust me. There will be much more later on. Just take the 50 caps. I'm in. That's what I like to hear. Have Let's a minute. Inside. Got something on my mind. Low down. What? Of course. Of course. Anything you need. Anything I need, huh? I might take you up on that one day. After Tommy stuck me with you, I was expecting to hate your guts. Not only because you've agreed to pick up me contract, but because I was waiting for you to order me around like hired help. Now, so far, you've been treating me like a friend. Hell, you've been damn near nice to me. Now, I don't mean to sound ungrateful, but your kindness is starting to make me wonder. If there's anything I learned in the combat zone, it was that nobody does things for other people without expecting something in return. What do you want to say? What, uh, what am I expecting? 
What exactly do you think I'm expecting in return? Who knows? Doing your laundry, taking a bullet for you, hauling your gear. What's the difference? I don't think I'm getting through to you. Let me explain what I mean, then maybe you'll understand where I'm coming from. I spent three years living at the combat zone. Smelled like puke and piss. But I called it home. I was making a few caps. Had me own bed to sleep in and three hot meals a day. Then the raiders took over the place. You know that lot. They aren't exactly what you'd call the gentle type. After they moved in, if you didn't keep looking over your shoulder, you were liable to get sucker punched or robbed. Or worse. Didn't take me long to learn that I had to put my hard-earned caps to good use. Buying friends was essential to making life easy. So, I guess I'm waiting for you to hand me a bill. You know what I mean? Don't be yeah. ridiculous, or you owe me nothing? You owe me nothing. You don't owe me a thing. Now I'm having a real hard time believing that. I'll tell you what. Give me some time and I'll think of something I can do to repay you. I'm not a rich girl, but I'm sure we can agree on something. After all, what are friends for? Okay, so that quest is boring. I just thought it was funny if you go down a down a down if you go down a hallway, they're like, yes, come in. And you're walking down a dark alley, and they're like, hey, kid, you want a job? Yeah. <laughs> <And you're> like, <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. 